Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial, today I am going to show you the steps to make a logo from start to finish. But first let me show you some of the most famous logo types now. First we have the lettermarks logos, it basically a topography based logo that's comprised of a few letters, usually a company's initials. Because the focus is on initials, the font you choose or create is very important to make sure your logo is not only on theme with what your company does, but also legible when you print on business cards. Second we have the wordmarks logo. Similar to a lettermark, a wordmark logo is a font-based logo that focuses on a business name alone. Google's logo is a great example of this. The name itself is catchy and memorable so, when combined with strong topography, the logo helps create strong brand recognition, and just like the letter marks logos, topography has an important role here. And third we have the symbols logo type. The biggest thing to consider when deciding to go with a symbols mark is what image to choose. This is something that will stick with your company its entire existence, when you see these logos the mark alone is instantly recognizable, and this will show you how iconic these company is, with only their logo. Fourth we have the mascots logo. Often colorful, sometimes cartoonish, and most always fun, the mascot logo is a great way to create your very own brand character. Think of all those mascots at sporting events and the great dynamic they create by getting involved with the audience. Next we have the combination marks. It's in the name. A combination mark is a logo comprised of a combined word mark or letter mark and a pictorial mark, abstract mark, or mascot. The picture and text can be laid out side by side, stacked on top of each other, or integrated together to create an image. Some well-known combination mark logos include Doritos, Burger King and Lacoste. There's even more types of logos but these are the most famous types. Let me now show you the steps to take to make a logo for a client. First you have to ask your client a number of questions to make sure you understand what style he want exactly. Something like what colors he prefer, does he have a favorite style of logos, and where he will use it. You can begin after that by taking the words associated with the logo and find some other words related to them, and then maybe combine them with the characteristics required by the client, after that, you can make some sketches based on them, and whether you can draw or not, you can make some rough sketches just to have an idea on how the logo will look like at the end. Now let's make some variations of the logo in any illustration software, they basically all have the same principles, in my case I am using Affinity Designer but maybe I will make the same with Adobe Illustrator in another video, if you ask for it in the comment section below. But before beginning, please make sure to subscribe to Titsup, to get our future video tutorial. We basically make graphic and web design videos and sometime animation tutorials on After Effect, and to keep you always up to date with the new design trends, we make also speed art videos, and thanks for everyone who supported us on Patreon. Okay now let's continue, for the first logo we will simply begin with a simple rectangle shape, and using the corner tool I will modify it to look like a cup, just like this. Next I will draw a circle for the cup handle. Make sure to move its layer under the shape. Now I will quickly draw a leaf shape using the same tools as the cup shape. Make sure to give the same roundness value for both of the corners. After that, I will move it inside the cup. And I will give it a petiole using the pen tool. Now I will make another copy and flip it horizontally, using the flip horizontal button above, and move everything to the other side. And finally I will add the demanded text just under everything. Now for the second one I will use the same techniques as the first logo.
Now for the third logo I will begin by drawing a circle shape and after that I will convert it to curve, and I will make a small modification using the node tool and the top arrow button from the keyboard. Now convert the corner into shape just like that. Now, do just what I am doing by copying and pasting the shape multiple times. Now I will add the final details with the pen tool. Now I will leave you watching the making of the final logo.
at the end make sure to give the client a good representation for every logo before sending them. Thank you everybody for watching please make sure to share and like this video if you found it useful, and don't forget to watch other videos, see you later.